Good evening. I'm Lori. You're watching The Fever Bunch. Today in New Jersey, for which I am a resident, um, there was a Senate committee vote on same-sex marriage, and it passed at a margin of 8 to 4. Um, I'm very excited about this. Uh, that just means that I think the next step is it goes to the governor, which, who is Chris Christie right now, a Republican. The, in the state of New Jersey for the last who knows how long because there's different surveys, 52% um, was the last number of uh, citizens in New Jersey supporting gay marriage are supporting it. So Chris Christie has been kind of quiet lately. I mean, he's Republican. He's said that he opposes gay marriage, but and he also says that if it came to his desk that he would veto it, um, this bill, when it gets to him. Um, however, there is a New Jersey law that says that if a bill passes by the, the governor and he does not sign it for 45 days, it becomes a law. So um, if he just kind of says, well, I don't believe in it, I don't want my supporters, my voters who are voting for me to think that I'm like pro-gay marriage, but I think it's best for the state. He can just kind of do 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 and um, let 45 days pass and then um, and then it would go into enactment that the gays can marry. So that's why I have my little groom outfit on, but I of course would not be a groom, I would be a bride. Um, both of us would be brides, Mary Beth and I, and uh, we are continuing our search for venues and um, we've been looking a lot in New York City since that's very close to us um, but if I, I think if um, New Jersey gets its act together and legalizes gay marriage uh, we would be much more likely to um, be looking on the New Jersey side to send our money and our support and um, you know support the industry the the wedding industry because um, where we come from originally Michigan is very anti-gay. They have as much as, uh, you know, as anti as can be and has um, anti-gay amend amendments um, and bans on gay marriage in their con in their state constitution. Um, living in a state that has at least civil unions is better than that. Um, and then, of course, last year, 2011, New York State passed gay marriage equality um, so that's always an option for us, and, and both of us work in New York, so our employers would already be recognizing any civil union that we have here in the state, which we are filing our taxes together as a, you know, civil unionized couple. Doesn't that sound so stupid? Nobody wants to get civil unionized, okay? Civilly unioned. It's just not equal, and everyone knows it because it sounds so ridiculous to say, um, and there are so many rights missing. There's over a thousand rights. So uh, this is something that's really important to me right now, and that's why I chose to talk about that this week. And um, and especially since the voting was happening today, and I and I just saw the first time I saw the eight to four margin, which is a pretty big margin considering that it got defeated two years ago at this time, the same measure. So um, and I know Washington State has a similar bill that's passing through right now and it's said to it's supposed to get all the way to the governor and the governor of Washington has recently and she's pretty sweet she recently put out like a very public statement that said you know I oppose gay marriage but now I'm pretty much for it I see the importance of it for gay people and the equality of it is not there if you know it's kind of like separate is not equal you know civil unions the idea of a civil union may make a lot of people happy because it's not ruining their sanctity of marriage. <coughs> Kim Kardashian. <coughs> but um, it is, you know, something that, that she's seeing is very important to equality. So, um, separate is not equal. New Jersey, we need it. That's that's all there is to it. So I have my, my wedding gear on. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully everything is it's going to push forward and I still have my fingers crossed. I don't think that, I mean, Chris Christie's been good about something, so we'll see if he makes a good judgment call. But um, I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you next Tuesday. Okay, bye.